Welcome to English 101 with Will and Aya. Have you been a firm believer that a word between is only used when there are two elements, while among is used when there are three or more elements? Well, actually, that rule is a myth. It is a great oversimplification. You can use between when there are more than two elements involved. In fact, you can use between for any number of elements, as long as all the elements are separate and distinct. Example, he had to choose between a bicycle, a train set, a pair of sneakers, and a new backpack for his birthday present. Here, we have four distinct elements, bicycle, train set, pair of sneakers, and a new backpack. Since the elements are separate and identifiable, we can use the word between. So take note of that, guys. When the elements are separate, distinct, or even identifiable, no matter if you have two, three, or even more elements, you can use the word between. Right, Aya? That's right. Between is not only used when there are two elements. Now, among, A-M-O-N-G, is used when talking about people or things that are not distinct and are viewed as a group. For example, there wasn't much unity among the council members. Here, the council members pertains to a group. Thus, it is not separate or distinct, actually. So in this case, we should use among. Among could indicate that something belongs to a group. Example, she only ever felt comfortable when she was among her friends. In this sentence, her friends are considered as a group and is not identifiable individually. So, we have to use among. In summary, use between when referring to a separate, distinct, or identifiable elements. Use among when referring to indistinct or non-specific relationships. That is correct. Ditch the idea that between is only for two elements and among is used in comparing three or more elements. That is not really the case. Thanks for watching, everybody. We hoped you learned something new. See you next time.